Hello, welcome to Public Policy Research. While this video focuses on McCourt thesis and capstone students, it can benefit anyone conducting public policy research. After completing this tutorial, you will be able to understand the purpose of research and literature reviews in the context of your thesis or capstone, identify key databases for article searching, find and use think tank research effectively, find data and data sets related to your topic, and find resources for citation in APA and Chicago styles. Let's get started. Why is a literature review important for thesis writing? The paper you write should build on the work already undertaken in the field. It is important that you investigate what has already been written and know who the major researchers and authors are around your topic. A solid knowledge of the field provides the groundwork for your argument and the basis for the position and policies you put forward. It provides the backbone to build your argument. Thorough research also prevents confirmation bias, only looking for material that supports your view. By exploring in depth, you may find different policies or ideas that strengthen your thesis. A clear literature review or background section also leads to academic integrity. It demonstrates that you are aware of the major divisions and agreements in the field and that you are drawing on research, not personal opinion. So where do you find literature on your topic? The library's homepage defaults to HoyaSearch, the library catalog, which searches our books, ebooks, articles, and electronic resources. It also searches the collections of other local universities in the Washington Research Library Consortium. Hoya Search is useful for broad information on a topic. However, the depth of research you need for thesis requires targeted resources. The library has curated guides on specific topics to help you with deeper research. They are located under Research and Research and Course Guides. This video will cover resources in the Public Policy Research Guide. If your topic is interdisciplinary, then other research guides may be helpful. For example, if your topic is on K-12 education policy, the Education Research Guide will have relevant resources. If you are not sure which research guide is most useful, you can get help from a librarian. We have an online chat for quick answers or you can place a one-on-one -on -one or group consultation request on the library's website. Let's dive into conducting your literature review. The library subscribes to over 700 databases, which tend to specialize in certain topics or formats. Some databases are more general, such as Academic Search Premier, JSTOR, or ProQuest Central. While some are highly specialized, such as ERIC, IEEE, Hein Online, and Nexus Uni. To get a wide range of articles, it is important to search in more than one database. The research guides that are related to your topic are a great place to find relevant databases. You can always talk with a librarian to determine the best databases for your topic. Once you have decided on the databases to use, you can start searching on your topic. One of the hardest parts of doing research is figuring out which words to search. How you describe a concept versus what the authors call it can be different things. Searches with similar keywords can help expand your results. In this example, you can see alternate terms or keywords for a topic about disenfranchisement among minority and BIPOC voters. Play around with the different aspects of your topic too. A topic about disenfranchisement among minority and BIPOC voters can be searched in the following ways. Disenfranchisement and voters, disenfranchisement and minority or BIPOC, voting and minority or BIPOC, disenfranchisement and minority or BIPOC and voters. Research is an iterative process. It is normal to run more than one search and to change your search terms or aspects of your topic. Your topic has more than one dimension, your searches should too. If you are still having trouble finding articles, please reach out to a librarian for help. Let's try some example searches in key public policy databases. 
One key database is actually Google Scholar. It is a good place to get a broad view of research on a given topic. Please watch the Google Scholar Basics video for more information on how their search engine works and advantages and disadvantages of using Google Scholar, some of which are shown here. If you've used Google Scholar in the past, you may have noticed that articles are frequently behind a paywall and want you to pay for access to the research. Please do not pay for research. You can link Google Scholar to your library account to get access. One way to get access is to copy and paste the citation into Hoya Search. We also have a tool called Lean Library, a browser add-on that provides one-click access. A third way is to go to the Google Scholar settings, click on Library Links, and then search for Georgetown. Check the box for Georgetown University Find Full Text at GU. Searching in Google Scholar is straightforward since it supports keyword and natural language searching. Look through the first page or two of results to see if the articles are relevant. If they aren't, try some of your other keywords or aspects of your topic. When you find an article on your topic that you are interested in, you can use it to expand research in that area. First, look at the references listed in the article. These articles will be tightly focused on the topic, but older. Use the Cited by feature in Google Scholar to see who has cited that particular article. These results will be newer, but may be less focused on the same topic. The Related Articles button uses Google's algorithm to predict what other articles may be helpful. This can be hit or miss. You can also look at the suggested searches from Google Scholar. The Public Policy Research Guide has more key databases. Remember, you should be looking through two to three, if not more, databases to make sure you have full coverage of your topic area. Let's start with Academic Search Premier. To get the most out of this database, select the option Choose Databases and then hit Select All. This searches across all the databases and content owned by EBSCOhost. You may get a warning message that specific databases are at their user limits. You can just proceed through this warning. Once you've added in all the databases, you can build your search strategy. This database supports Boolean operators, which allow you to dig deeper into your topic. The predictive text when typing in the search box can help you find keywords or related terms. Keep in mind that adding too many keywords can limit the search results, and too few may be too broad. Here is a search result for our example topic of disenfranchisement among minorities in voting. Look over the first 15 to 20 results to gauge if the articles look relevant or not. Library databases rank articles differently than a Google search would, but by 15 to 20 articles, you will get a good sense if your keywords are appropriate or not. If the full text isn't available, click on the Find Full Text at GU to check if we have access through a different database or to request it through Interlibrary Loan. The facets on the left side can narrow your results by date, source type, peer review status, or other aspects. It is usually better to view all of the results and decide for yourself what is relevant, unless you have a specific reason to limit your search results. For example, if a law changed and you need results after that point, then you may want to limit the date. Or if your professor requires a certain number of peer-reviewed articles, you might want to narrow to those. Besides library databases and Google Scholar, Think tanks can also be a great place to get research on your topic, especially if your topic is more recent or changes frequently. It's also a good place to look for policy solutions that are being put forward. Please watch the Think Tanks video for more information about using Think Tank research. It is important to keep in mind that all think tanks are biased in some way, 
Sometimes this can be a good thing, such as looking at a politically divisive issue and seeing what both liberal and conservative think tanks recommend as policy solutions. Selected think tanks and their political leaning are listed on the Public Policy Research Guide. Some think tanks focus on specific issues, such as education, the environment, or refugees, while others cover a broader scope of topics. To save time, use a website like findpolicy.org to search across many think tanks at once. In this example about voting laws, you can see the name of the think tank and get a sense of the article before you click on it. Another option is Policy Commons. They have research from think tanks, NGOs, and IGOs across the globe. They also focus on archiving research from think tanks that have gone out of business. Next, let's look at finding data. On the Statistics and Data page of the Public Policy Research Guide, you can find data sources by topic. These sources are either publicly available or databases the library subscribes to. Data sources from past theses and capstone students are available in the McCourt Data Spreadsheet. There is some topic searching and several tabs with different data sources. Please note that the library cannot purchase additional data sets at this time. When looking for data and data sets for your topic, you must first determine who would collect the data that you need. Is it a government-funded project? Privately owned data? Something researched and reported on in an academic article? Think about who would collect the data and use them as your main source. Also keep in mind if your data is confidential. If it has sensitive information, it may not be available for you to use. You can also use a general search engine to search for your topic and data sets. Try searching with data set as one word. Keep in mind that even in our highly digitized world, not all data exists or is openly available if it does. Last, we will look at organizing your sources and proper citation. Keeping track of your articles and citations is very important. Using a citation management system like Zotero or RefWorks lets you save your references as you find them. Both programs have plugins for Word and Google Docs that let you automatically insert your in-text citations or footnotes as you write your paper. They also let you tag, organize, and share your references. Zotero is free and open source. It is a program that runs on your computer with a browser icon for adding content to your library. It also automatically pulls in PDFs when they are available. RefWorks is owned by ProQuest and saves articles to their website, which is helpful if you frequently use multiple devices to research. It can also generate a reference list easily. I suggest students start with Zotero, and if you find it doesn't work for you, then try RefWorks. On the Public Policy Research Guide page under Citation Tools, the library has video tutorials with basic information on APA and Chicago style citation. Another resource to help with your citations is Purdue's Online Writing Lab. They have information on citation for both APA and Chicago styles. While their written content is excellent, please be aware that the Cite Your Sources banner is an ad Please do not use this service as it is unreliable. This concludes our video on public policy research. If you would like additional information or have questions, please ask us.